so thank you very much. This has been a wonderful evening. And thank you very much to Avi Silberschatz, who's my colleague and who's here with me this evening. Um, so before I went to Yale University in uh, 2000, I spent 15 years at AT&T Labs and Bell Labs. And um, as you know, I'm a professor of computer science. And um, my area of research is theory. <laughs> and during the time that I was at AT&T Labs, uh, one of the people who was my boss at one point was David Johnson, who is the co-author of <laughs> Computers and Intractability, The Theory of NP Completeness. <laughs> okay. Now about bathrooms. <laughs> um, I was a math major, that's why I got into theory. I was a math major at Harvard when I was an undergraduate. And um, I took an algebra final in January. Harvard has fall semester finals after Christmas. Uh, at least it did then. And I took an algebra final in a physics building that had no ladies' rooms. And at some point, I had to go outside in the snow, in the middle of the exam, in order to go to the bathroom. And I still ace that exam. <laughs> but anyway, um, now the Harvard physics department has Lisa Randall, who many of you have probably heard of on the faculty. So I think they probably have at least one ladies' room. <laughs> okay. So um, I guess the last thing I want to say is I've been really fascinated to hear all about the technological and scientific endeavors going on all over Connecticut. And as a Yale professor, I guess I feel like one of the things that would really help all of this scientific and technological activity in Connecticut is if Yale really fully valued <laughs> science and technology as much as it values some other fields. So, you know, it's a wonderful place. It's a beautiful place. I, you know, I'm, I'm very privileged to be a professor at Yale, but I think it would be great for Connecticut if Yale cared, cared a lot more about science and technology. What do you think? <laughs> okay. okay, thank you all very much.